Hi guys, we're back with uh, Ann, if you're there, there's Pete. I don't know, he's had a couple of little, I don't know if he's maybe noise shy or something. He kind of started shaking. I, I thought something was wrong with him yesterday. And then I took him out and he was fine. I put him back in there. Uh, but he seems to get nervous or something. Anyway, so what I've got is a dog that I, I want you guys to say to yourself, it's very unlikely that this dog is probably going to do this. And I could be wrong. There could be Great Danes doing this at Diamond. I'm just going to tell you right now. With these, it's almost what you have to think of is you can garner momentum, but it's it's very slow. It's sort of like a steamroller type of thing. It takes it a while to get going. If anything happens to stop it before it gets going, it never gets going. So this is the dog that... And you can see, those two dogs, they don't like each other, and that's what you need to say to yourself. That's not his sister that he loves or anything. They don't like each other. And you said, how can you tell? There's no love lost. There's no body language that indicates anything other than, I don't like you. I less than don't like you. I hate you. So I've got my, and he's got a very strong sense of self-right, and that, that's what she's already defaulting to picking up. You lucky. All right, I've got, I've got my 280, though. And I do like this collar. And honestly, we're going to look back and say, oh, my God, that box was so big. It's disgusting. Yay. Maybe not you guys, but me. <laughs> and if you said look back, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> so, but, you know, I understand that now, Mike. And, what you know, how much of that? I, I'm going to need you to work on that and at least get some something together for the ebook explaining sound vibration or whatever we need some cursory sort of explanation of vibration in general as it applies to life I, you know again if i can understand that concept but i can understand if you didn't know anything and somebody said well everything's vibrating you know huh you'd be like huh since everything's vibrating and this is vibrating too, I, you know, and honestly, that's too deep for people to understand in the beginning. If you just come at them with, yay, yay, you know, don't use constant, use this instead, because everything's vibrating and so is this. I, I think you have to say, how far along can I get in my sequence? I understand with this dog, I'm far enough along now that if I can get, throw that in there, um, all right, so I'm going to get my cone. I'm going to get my collar on first, though, because I don't, you know, again, it doesn't take any more incidences than what already happened. Yay. 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 Let me get this collar on. She doesn't like to get her collar on. For us to never trust Izzy again around Pete. Uh, you know, n nothing else needs to happen. That, and I think that's what people need to say to themselves. Okay, we're at the point now. Nothing else needs to happen. Oh, M shoe bottom's gonna ruin everything. Look at her. Hopefully she just runs off like the little ass that she is. Oh, I hope you saw her. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Out the gate with the No, she's not even she doesn't have the decency to go out the gate. She's gonna stand down there and mock me. Um Yeah, yeah. Um But yeah, we, we have to say to ourselves, I need to have the nick set on this dog when Pete is around and I need to be prepared for even a sideways glance to say I saw what your yeah, that was sideways glance right there at least add an interruption to it but yeah there there's there if anything the closer they get to each other the more guarded their movements become all right I'm not gonna put it down there today because of jerk bottom I'm gonna get my cone though joining us. Jerk Bottom is my rescued boxer who's basically destroying my life. Bit by bit by bit. There's no place I can put her that she can't get out. She opens doors. She does this. She does that. All right, so let me make sure I got that in the shot. Now she can look at her. She's, oh, I don't know if you can see her, but she's over there watching my every move. All right, so here's my cone. So I'm just miniaturizing the exercise. I did have her going farther away yesterday. I think 
we need to write that down too. The uh, Moby Dick swallowed Ahab, and Ahab is inside your stomach saying yay. That's how small it needs to be, depending on the level of sensitivity. Yay. 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 I'll tell you what's good for her, not this basket. Yay. Yay. Look at her, she's... Yay! Yay! So I've got the sequence. To where if I can be close enough to it and throw the arm signal, and I've got the teeny tiny. All right, I'm being very careful here. To see, and Lin Linnea, if you're there. Yay, 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 yay. 11th place. Uh. I feel like I'm pretty close to getting her to pick that up. But, you know, people don't want to get the small dumbbell, but I can tell you, that's what I start with no matter how big they are, just because it's smaller. And I'm keeping a very close eye on what we got going on over here with this little dog. You know, my job is the curious human that stares at something. If she goes over there by it, and I think she will. Yay! See how it's shoe bottom down there. He said, what's that? That's pretzel. Yay, yay. Okay, if I want, I think if I move it closer, and that's what you got to be ready to do. Oh, Pete's going to pick it up. I think if I move it closer, I've got a shot. If I can throw in my sequence. Oh, God, no. That's your job. That's what you do when they get up in your face like that. No, she doesn't like that either. But that's your job. Your job is not to say, honestly, to say anything. Now she's run off with the second one. Okay. <laughs> we'll stick with this for now. But that's your job, to get those hands making a sequence as quick as possible. And again, that's why I understand you can't use the hands for petting. You need them for more important things. You can use your voice to tell them, good job. Does that sound plausible, Mike? Does that sound like something these people might buy? And if you said, how many times do I need to make it happen? Once you can get a sequence going, and my job is to still keep throwing it in there. Yay. 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 Oh, maybe she sees shoe bottom doing it. So you get the idea, but, you know, if this dog can do it, you know, and if you said, well, what would it take for it not to do it? Oh, I, 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 I hit it with constant one time. All right, I'm watching her, too. She's looking around. She's checking out that little dog. Hit it with constant one time. I don't think it would ever make another move. Izzy. So what I'm saying to myself is I do have an ability to physically move this dog without a leash on. And if you said by virtue of what? By virtue I've made it believe that the pager has something to do with motion and that means to move in my direction. So that's how. All right, let me see if I can do a little obedience. And I can conjure it up. I think, you know, I think if, we, if you said, and she loves doing it now. If we said, um, you know, what, what, give, give me another name for this pager thing that you're talking about. You know, I wish, you know, uh, this, this is Casey Neistat. He just, he just doesn't know anything about dogs. He's trying to explain this to him. 
you know, tell me, you know, more. What, how does this thing work or whatever? Well, you, the dog wears it. You condition them and stuff, and then you can conjure up the behaviors you need by pushing the button. Okay, got it. This would be Casey Neistat. Got it. All right, Linnea, this is you. I want you to get these small dumbbells, girl. Those big ones are for serious pros. That people like us. <laughs> we need the little itty bitty sissy dumbbells. So yeah, don't try to, you know, and people don't listen to me. I tell them get the small ones. They don't listen and they get the big ones anyway. So it's very aggravating. It's like, oh, she must be mistaken. We're, we're gonna get the right thing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Your dogs cannot handle the giant dumbbells. Those are for dogs like trash. Anyway, so what I'm saying is I, I can't physically move the dog. <laughs> Izzy! <laughs> I can drive it back in my direction. I can spin her this way. I can turn her this way. Oh, I'm ready though. I'm gonna hit the nick and if you said why, because it's heightened reality. chance I couldn't get my finger over there fast. Is he? I couldn't get my finger on there fast enough. Down. She's if you said what did you do? I kept holding the pager down. I finna put my finger on the nick, but I didn't get the chance. The reflex took over and it started laying down. And if you said, how long were you holding the pager down? It seemed like a long time. Down. There it is, there it is, there it is. Holding, 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 holding. Getting ready to add my nick. Yay. 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 Flat. Flat. Oh, she sees him there. She don't want to do it. She better, though. He likes her better like this. Oh, she's fighting herself. Down. Izzy! Yay! And then remember, she backs up. Back, back, back. Forward, forward. Oh, I can do, like, dog dancing. Back, back, back. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, we're in perfect step. <laughs> Was I even in the shot? Hang on. No, oh, okay, hang on, let me do it again. Oh, we're in perfect step. Now we do dog dancing now here. That's what I'm going for. I can't even, oh yeah, dog dancing. All right, hang on, watch. And that's what you want to be. You're in step with each other, watch. like, I don't want a dancing dog. <laughs> you know, but what you have to say is we're in perfect step with each other. I'm not working against the dog. And dog dancing is becoming more popular. I'll do a little dog dance. Hang on. And, but that's what you've got to think of it as. All right, hang on. I can spin her. I can turn her this way. I can spin I can chop, 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 chop. Honestly, their legs are the same size as yours. Watch, we got the same step. Chop, 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 chop. Anyway, but you've got to be careful. And, and Linnea, this dog has gone after this little. You know, I moved her away from him with the pager. Chihuahua before a well, while, the little Chihuahua was on the owner's lap. So, you know, what we have to say to ourselves is we don't need to see any more to understand we can't trust this dog anymore. And, you know, the dog is collar conditioned. Once the dog is collar conditioned, God forbid if you did have to use it for punishment, they are aware that's you doing it if you holler and make it like that. Or you can make it environmental, but, you know, that does involve. Yeah, she's looking. They don't like each other. That's the reality of it. I know. Well, and he's old, too, and he's got a strong sense of self, right? You know how they are. And then suddenly these two puppies move in, Briggy the Weimaraner and this one, and then they're getting bigger and bigger. You know, and these dogs are putting up a big defense to keep a big puppy away from them. And 
Then they're like, oh my God, what is this thing in my house? You know, oh, she's huge. Anyway, I hope you like the cha-cha-cha. That's my new dog doing something. I'm giving up the training and just going to go get all my old skirts out of my closet, Sophia, if you're there. I'm getting all my old skirts out. The, all my twirling skirts. And I think I even have this one, like, rockabilly dress. If Lucero comes back to town, I'm wearing that rockabilly dress. A lot of people that go there kind of dress rockabilly. I don't even really know what that is, but that's how they're dressed. Anyway, guys, I will be right back. I'm going to put this one up. But that's what we have to say to ourselves, and uh, nothing else needs to happen for us to say to ourselves, she cannot be trusted. And Alice, if you're there, same thing with that Caesar. Nothing else needs to happen for us to understand. We can't trust that dog. You know, it, that's, you know, if we want to and fail, we need to realize that was our mistake because it, they're already showing you what they're going to do. They've already shown you what they're going to do. It's going to happen again unless, honestly, market things happen to change that. Serious collar conditioning, a dog that is not ever out without a collar and the ability to be bent and conditioned and all these things. The, short of that, it's going to be a disaster at some point. All right, you guys. Everybody at home is like, oh, you're so depressing. Okay. Tip is mostly, okay, no, no, don't, don't bend. Oh, oh, your knee bending, your knee bending. Okay, no, you're not ready for the down yet, though, Linnea. Don't, don't do the down yet. Now that's, no, I'm glad that you said that. No, please don't do that. You, you don't want to, do, now you're making yourself less likable, less interested. You've got to get your recall in first. I can't stress that enough to everybody else. You can get them doing a lot of different stuff. But the problem is, if you haven't laid that foundation, it, the wheels will fall off at a later date, and then we'll say, I told you. So forget about the down for now. I promise you, forget about the down. You've got to get them collar conditioned for nothing but that recall so that they're standing around like they're at a Green Day concert waiting for you to tell them what to do. Until you're at that point, I don't want you doing down or anything else. It just makes you less likable because that might be what you might come up with when yeah, something else is going on. Anything else is going on. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. <laughs>